In this video, we're going to show you how to access a MapleSim model from within a Maple worksheet that is being used by the Maple plugin for Model Center. For this example, we're going to show you the model of an electric powertrain, which includes a driver model that has been created to follow a predefined speed profile, a longitudinal vehicle dynamic model, which is being driven by a gear connected to an electric motor, the electric motor is powered through an inverter which draws power from a pack of lithium-ion battery. The lithium-ion battery is cooled by an external cooling mechanism. The lithium-ion battery is cooled by a cooling mechanism which uses active and passive heat extraction and incorporates temperature control using an on-off thermostat. When simulated, this model calculates the time histories of the various quantities associated with the model. This plot shows the variation of target speed and the altitude of the path. The plot here shows the variation of battery temperature and the activity of the cooling circuit. As we can see, the green line turns on when the temperature reaches 30 degrees centigrade, which results in a decrease in the temperature. This plot shows the variation of the torque in the drive shaft, and this plot shows the variation of the state of charge of the battery. To include this calculation in a Maple worksheet, we have created a worksheet that calculates the peak battery temperature and the average battery temperature of a simulation when the input quantities are the cooling powers and the altitude scaling for the simulation. The Maple code for this worksheet is given here. It starts by defining the location of the MapleSim model. It links to the MapleSim model specified, generates a compiled C code for the MapleSim model, executes the simulation and extract numbers and finally displays the required quantities in the text areas specified here. It also displays the variation of battery temperature in a plot. For example, if we include any changes in the numbers, it will result in a change in the peak battery temperature and the temperature profile of the simulation. As we can see here, the changes in altitude scaling results in an increased peak battery temperature as evident in this worksheet. To include this worksheet into Model Center, we once again invoke the Maple plugin, specify the Maple worksheet that we have created, identify the input and output quantities, specify the types of the variables that will be supplied from Model Center, and click Confirm. As we can see here, if we change the numbers, Model Center runs the Maple worksheet to calculate the correct values for the for the output quantities. We can see that the model center is progressing through the simulation and the result is displayed accordingly. In similar fashion, other MapleSim models can also be brought into model center through a Maple worksheet and using the Maple plugin. 